This is another piece about the documentary Fresh I saw last night here in South Tampa, which really has my gears turning about how to uh, integrate my poultry uh, much more into the maintenance of my landscape, reduce my need to weed, which frequently ends up futile by the end of summer here anyway, uh, and, uh, and also provide uh, automatically a good part of their need for green plant matter in their diet. So what I want to do is show what I did today, just kind of goofing around after I taught a class here, of playing with uh, traffic patterns. My backyard, if you would look down from a helicopter, it's a big oval pathway that just pretty much, you know, just wraps around the whole yard and comes back here to the gate that leads to the kitchen. Well, with I think I have seven free-range adult chickens now. I thought, where do I need the greatest amount of weeding to take place, which is going to be my west side for sure. Even though the gate's been open for a few weeks, the chickens have not gone in. So let's back up here. So what I did is I just simply grabbed random objects that, uh, that we're hearing about to start creating um, you know, blockades and just kind of see how it was the best way to steer them around. So here's this one quarter of a satellite dish my dad gave me a while ago. I've moved the blocking bucket out of the way for now, but when I was corralling the chickens, I had this here. But I did, on this side of the, what used to be the quill pen, is I blocked with this baby gate somebody gave me a path that lets the chickens go right past the quill pen to the hen house. My goal is to get them over in here, in the weed hell zone that I videoed earlier today. Unspeakable weed growth of this annual grass. My options seem to be best at getting them straight into this side right now, short term, by using simply random objects. Here's another baby gate somebody gave me. And it wasn't too hard to crowd them in. The idea was that this gate was open do that right now. There's one chicken that's still loose. Let's see if we can get her to go in. But I was able to uh, quickly corral by having the gate all the way open and blocked with that bucket to simply shoo them in all the way around the yard into here, close, close the gate. And what I'm going to do after having seen Fresh last night and the wonderful Reliance uh, on poultry for weed control, feeding them, etc., can, can be achieved with just simple blockades to direct their uh, traffic patterns. I'm going to give it a try. Let's go around here and see what's happening. The second rooster, the one I call Edible Rooster, I left out of the loop because him and Mr. Rooster, the official rooster, uh, simply do not get along. Here's an errant chicken who somehow got out. Here's Mr. Rooster. Hey, big guy. Hey, big guy. Y'all cleaning out those weeds for me? Yeah, you get to work on that. That's your job. Here's what they face. One last sweep around the weed hell zone. I need to find out the name of this grass just so I can know what I'm hating so much and then put a stop to it. If I can stop seed production even one season, I would win the, win the battle. But the idea is that they're going to scour this area all the way down past the old beehives, uh, and then I'll fence them out and turn it back into usable land. I hope this gives you some good ideas, and once again, I suggest you try to get your hands on uh, the wonderful documentary called Fresh, about sustainable agriculture, uh, home-based permaculture, and basically escaping reliance on industrialized agriculture. Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye.